Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this scene in Blender 3D. First, I added a plane to make the ocean. And I also used this image as a reference. Enter the shader editor and before you add the new material you can adjust the light and switch it from point to sun. After that, select the plane and add a new material. Add a diffuse PSDF and a gradient texture. And if you have the node wrangler enabled in your preferences, you can press Ctrl T to add a mapping node and the texture coordinate node. Then add a color ramp, duplicate it, and add a noise texture. Then add a mix node to combine the two color ramps and set it to multiply. Now with the first color ramp, we can control the color of our water. So you can just adjust the colors to your liking. And also by adjusting the second color ramp, you can get some nice color variation so that your ocean shader has also some light areas and some dark ones so that it looks more like actual water. Then you can add a Voronoi texture and another color ramp. Make sure to connect the distance to the color ramp and then add a mapping and a texture coordinate node. Set the scale to 200. And then add a gradient texture. Set it to spherical. And add a mix node and set it to multiply. Then add another noise texture and a color ramp. Duplicate the mix node and connect the other mix node in the color ramp. Add an invert color node and an emission shader. Set it to 5. And then add a mix shader to connect the two shaders. And also connect the invert color node into the factor. Then add a shader to RGB node. Duplicate it and add another diffuse BSDF. And then finally add the color ramp that we will also use later to adjust the shadows. Add a mix node and set it to multiply. Duplicate it. And make sure to plug in the invert color node and the mix node from the watercolor. Set the diffuse PSDF to a blue color. And that's it, now we finished working on our shader. All we need to do now is adjust some of the settings so we can get that really nice sparkle effect on the water. Now I know this is a bit complicated, but don't worry if you get lost. I'll also show you the final note tree later on. Also, make sure you plug the gradient texture in the B value of the multiply node, otherwise the sparkle effect won't work properly, so don't forget to do that. Now here is the final shader for the water. It consists of three parts, the sparkle effect, the shadows and the watercolor. So feel free to pause the video if there's something that you missed. And after you're done with the shading part, you can adjust the plane by scaling and rotating it around. Then you can go back in the shader editor and in the left corner switch from object to world. And from here we can change the world color and create our sky. So for that first add a gradient texture, duplicate it and add a color ramp. 
Duplicate the color ramp. Add the mix node and set it to screen. Duplicate it. Adjust the colors of the color ramps just like this. Then add another mix node. Duplicate the background node. And then add a light path. Add a mix shader to connect the two background nodes. Now from here you can adjust the colors of the sky to the way you like. Now by adjusting this color ramp over here, we can get this nice light effect on the sky. And then you can add the mapping and a texture coordinate node on the gradient. So this way you can adjust where the light will be. Here's the final shader for the sky. Now we can start working on the boat. So for that first add a cube. Then enter edit mode. Add a few loop cuts and then you can start adjusting the vertices to create the boat shape. After you're done, you can add a subdivision modifier, then go back in the edit mode and add a few loop cuts to create some sharper edges. And further adjust the vertices to your liking. Then you can add a cylinder and scale it up. Adjust it in edit mode. And add a subdivision modifier to it as well.
Then uh, add a circle, rotate it, then go into the edit mode. And here you can press E to extrude and S to scale. Then hit F to add the face in the middle and extrude again. Scale it down and adjust its position. Then you can add another cylinder and duplicate it. After that, add a path curve to make the ropes and adjust it in edit mode. Then you can go in the curve settings and here under bevel you can adjust the depth of the curve. Then to make the other ropes you can just duplicate your existing curve and adjust it in edit mode. Then add a sphere to create the boat sail. And adjust it in edit mode, just like this. Then you can just duplicate it, move it around and adjust its shape, just like this. After you're done with the modeling, you can enter the shader editor and add a new material for the boat. For this one, add a diffuse BSDF, a shader to RGB, and a color ramp. Set the color ramp to constant, and adjust the colors to your liking. Then add a second material. Here are all the free materials I uh, used on a boat. Then you can apply the subdivision modifier and this will make it much much easier to select the faces you want to have a different material in edit mode. And repeat the same shading process for the other objects as well. Then for the ropes, uh, instead of adding a diffuse BSDF, you can just add an emission shader. For the boat sail, first add a white material. Add 
add a second material and make this one red Then in edit mode, select the faces you want to have the red material And click assign And then just repeat the same process for the other spheres You can also add a torus between the spheres Now that we're done with the shading, we can start working on the outline So for that, select your boat and add a new material We will use the rope material for this one Then add a solidify modifier and copy these settings Also, don't forget to enable backface culling on the rope material, otherwise this effect won't work. And also make sure to click apply all transformations. Now repeat the same process for the other object. Then finally for the clouds, all I basically did was add a plane, scale it up and adjust its position. And here's my node setup for the cloud. I used an actual image of a cloud with a transparent background. You can use any image you like for this. And I also used multiple images of clouds with different colors for more variety. And as you can see here, they're all just planes. And also for this cloud shader to work, don't forget to set the blend modes to alpha blend and shadow modes to none. Then uh, another thing that I did for the shadows, uh, I changed the modes to high bits and from here you can adjust the cascade size. Then if you change the color of this color ramp, you can play around with the opacity and the color of the shadows. And that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching, here's the final animation.